Now let us derive an expression for the potential energy of a dipole placed in a uniform electric field. Suppose we have a dipole, dipole, let's say this be the dipole. Dipole basically means two equal and opposite charges separated by a distance, by a small distance. So this form constitute a dipole. Let, let us call this point A and let us call this point B. So let O be its center. Suppose we have a uniform electric field, that is this dipole is placed in a uniform electric field like this. A uniform electric field is always represented by parallel lines. Clear. So this is a uniform electric field. And we have the direction of the dipole moment. Dipole moment will be in a direction from negative to positive charge. So this is the direction of dipole moment. We represent dipole moment using the letter P. And here the electric field is towards right like this E of magnet of uniform strength directed towards E. Let this angle be theta. This angle means actually the angle between the dipole moment this dipole moment and electric field is the this angle theta clear so in this electric field we have the, 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 the there will be forces acting on these two charges the force acting on this plus q, plus q charge will be in a direction that is f along the direction of the electric field but for the negative charge it is opposite to the electric field that is in this direction the magnitude of both the forces will be Q times E, Q char charge into electric field, but they are in opposite direction. So if two equal and opposite forces act on a act on this charge separated by a distance, this will rotate this dipole. So the dipole, let's say this dipole is rotated through a small angle about the midpoint let this be the new position of a let's call that as a dash and let this point be b dash suppose this angle this angle of rotation be d theta that is this small that is from this position b to b dash this small angle be d theta now we have the torque let Tau represent tau be the torque. Tau be the torque, and d theta the small angular displacement. The angular displacement. Now, if a torque displaces a dipole through an angle theta, then definitely a work is done. We have the work done dW, the small work done to rotate through angle d theta will be torque times d theta. We already discussed this relation in our previous video. You can always go there and check. But also you know torque acting on a dipole will be P e sin theta. But torque tau is equal to P e sin theta. We also derive this relation in the video previous video if you want to know how to derive this i'll put the link in the description below so you can substitute the value of where p is the dipole moment e is the electric field theta the angle between p and e so the small work then dw will be p e instead of tau you can substitute p e sin theta d theta let's call this as equation number one so to get the total work, total work, total work W, what you need to do is integrate this value PE, PE sin theta d theta. Since the variable is theta, you have to integrate from it from theta 1 to theta 2. Clear. That is, let's say if this is the initial position of the dipole let's say a b 
this is minus q charge this is the plus q charge let this be the theta one now it is in here in a few position p dash a dash let this angle be theta two so theta one to theta two p p sin theta d theta therefore total work w is equal to since this p and e does not change you can take that out p e integral theta 1 to theta 2 sin theta d theta you have to integrate sin theta d theta but you know integral of sin theta is minus cos theta let me erase this therefore w will be p e integral of sin theta is minus cos theta now the lower limit is theta 1 and the upper limit is theta 2 you can take this minus outside so w will be minus p e first you have to put the upper limit that is cos theta 2 minus cos theta 1 and if you take again the negative sign and multiply that within the braces you will get work is equal to p e times cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2 but you know the, this work is to, stored the work done to rotate the dipole is stored as its potential energy therefore potential energy potential energy u equal to you re, we represent potential energy as u u equal to p e cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2 so this is the expression for potential energy now we have the potential energy u equal to p e cos theta 1 minus cos theta 2 suppose let let's say this line represents the electric field the direction of electric field and we have dipole initially perpendicular to the electric field which means the dipole moment of the dipole is perpendicular dipole direction of dipole moment is in this direction that is actually perpendicular to the electric field so let's say theta 1 theta 1 equal to 90 degree and you made to rotate this dipole through an angle theta that is that is now the dipole is in the new position let's say this q comes here plus q comes here and minus q goes to here suppose i write a here this is the new position a dash this is the initial position b this is the b dash now we have the theta 2 this is the theta 2 theta 2 let's say some angle theta okay now if you substitute these values in here you will get you will get potential energy u equal to p e into cos theta 1 means cos 90 minus cos theta theta 2 is theta so this will give p e into cos 90 value of cos 90 is 0 minus cos theta which will give minus p e cos theta but you know p e cos theta means you know a b cos theta is a, a dot b so p e cos theta is equal to here you have to write minus this one is p dot e so in that case the potential energy is equal to the dot product of the dipole moment and electric field negative of the dot product of dipole moment and electric field clear